With the 15th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Indianapolis Colts select Layatu Lotu, defensive end, UCLA. Yeah, the Colts may have set an Indy era record for sacks last season, but they'll be expecting even greater things from the pass rush now as Layatu Latu joins the franchise. 14 straight offensive players taken to start the draft, and then the Colts take the first defender off the board. An historic run on that side of the ball gave Chris Ballard and the Horseshoe the option to choose any player they wanted to bolster their defense. Latu was the first of nine picks for the Colts, and join me now to break down some of this year's draft class. The voice of the Colts, Matt Taylor, good to see you, and I've still been trying to work on, I don't know if I said the pronunciation of you the vowels, Right, but um, let's start with that first pick because Colts get that decorated pass rusher who has overcome a lot. Right. Let's talk about him because that's probably you think the biggest takeaway here. I do. I think he plays a premium position. Right. When you talk about pass rushers, and you nailed it, 14 offensive players at the top of the draft. That's never happened before. So the Colts get the pick of the litter with what they think grade wise is the best defensive player in this draft. So Liatu Latu out of UCLA, you talk about some of those hardships. Yeah. Started his career at Washington and came down with a neck injury during COVID. Yeah. We all remember just what a difficult time mm -hmm. that was medically. And so the University of Washington, their doctors and trainers, they didn't clear him medically. Yeah. And he kept saying to himself, I feel fine. I feel yeah. great. My neck doesn't hurt. I can still play football. Took it upon himself to keep seeking second and third opinions and he was working out on his own. He said, I was watching pass rush drills on YouTube yeah. and working out on my own, you know, on side fields, transfers to, to UCLA and turns himself into one of the best pass rushers in college football. He had 24 sacks the last two years combined, which led all, all of college football. So yeah. this guy is an absolute steal for the Colts considering the, the position that he plays and getting him in the middle of the draft. Yeah, we, we, we love that as a mom and someone who worries about, you know, I worry about his neck. And but again, I pray and hope that he's going to be great. Let's talk about I want to put up that um, full screen if we can with some of those other draft um, choices that we took. I like the third pick my, myself because we've got a Pitt graduate. Right. And those that know me know my family um, is connected to Pitt. So tell me a little bit about him and what does he bring to the table? Yeah, in round three offensive tackle. This is Matt Gonzalez. Alvis out of Pittsburgh. He's a big swing tackle. You see here he can play the right side. He can play the left side. In 2022 he was an all ACC player but last year got banged up a little bit. He had a toe injury so he only played in three games last year but the Colts they go for flexibility. They love position flexibility from really their entire roster but especially guys up front. That's how you make teams. That's how you stay around in the NFL. So again, he can kind of be your backup swing tackle at right side or left side, kind of like Blake Freeland was yeah. last year, but just adds more depth and more positional flexibility. If you haven't seen his conversation with Chris Ballard when he got the phone call, you've got to see that because that is <laughs> maybe the best, you know, one of the best, you know, responses ever. Um, who do you think is going to be the biggest surprise? I like to talk about surprise. Do you yeah. have one in there? They're like, you know what? Keep an eye on this one. I think in terms of surprise, or maybe kind of like sneaky additions yeah. and impact. Yeah. It might be Anthony Gould. He's a wide okay. receiver out of Oregon State. The Colts took two wide receivers, mm -hmm. obviously, in this draft. I think the premium player is going to be Adonai Mitchell, the wide receiver out of Texas. But Anthony Gould here, he can play on the outside. He can play in the slot, so he can play all over the field at the wide receiver position. But I think, at least initially, his biggest impact to the Colts as a rookie might be in the return game. As you know, they changed the kickoff return rule rules. So that's going to be different. You need speed. You need guys with good vision. But he also is a great punt returner. He led college football in punt return average in 2022. He had two punt returns for touchdowns there with the Beavers. So I think this is one of the best return men in all of the draft here. And I think the Colts really kind of prioritize that knowing the rules are changing yeah. and they need more, more speed on the outside, both on offense and on special teams. Technically, we're out of time, but because you were talking about Anthony, I want to talk quickly about <laughs> Anthony Richardson. Right. How does he look right now? What are you hearing? Is he good to go? The arrow is all up. You know, Chris Ballard talked about how he is just fully ahead of schedule. Um, everything has been positive since that surgery okay. back in back in November. So he is throwing the football and he's going to be on the field with the Colts when they start. I like seasons. when I like when you come in because you know what you're talking about and I don't, but I can ask the questions. So nice to have you in. Right. That's Let's what I'm here for. See, I love it.
Jim O'Brien. Now, we, don't you feel like you're I'm okay. kind of pumped, actually. Now I'm ready yes. for the season, and it's, what, you know, April. Come back May. soon. So, yeah, before you know it, though, they'll be at the spring, uh, you know, to, um, to camp. All right.